Our second construction type is creating a perpendicular line through a point that's given on the line. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a straight line using the straight edge of my compass. Make it nice and long. I'm gonna name this line, line K. And then I'm gonna place a point somewhere on this line. It doesn't matter where you put the point, and I'm gonna name that point P. Now, just like the last one, we're gonna create some perpendicular bisectors, except this time it's going to intersect through this point P. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my compass on point P, and then I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna pick any radius I want, I'm gonna draw some intersecting um, lines, or intersecting um, arcs on this actual line itself. So I'm gonna put my compass on point P, I'm going to slide my little ruler here somewhere so that it's inside, so that it's on this line here. Okay, so something has to be smaller than the line itself. So I'm gonna take that piece, I'm gonna make an intersection on the line. I'm gonna bring it over to the other side, leaving it exactly the same and do it on the other side. Okay, so I've got myself my two arcs here. I'm gonna name these points A and point B. Okay, then I'm gonna take my compass, I'm gonna put it on point A, and I'm gonna adjust my radius so it's more than half of the length of AB. So I need it to be further along than this point P. So I put it on A, and then I adjust my little slide here to be further than halfway. And then I'm gonna draw an arc somewhere up top. Keeping that same arc without moving it, I'm now gonna take the compass and turn it to the other side and put it on point B. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and they should intersect my two arcs. And what's really important is you do not move the little slide rule there, right? Because you wanna keep the same radius each time. Where my two points intersect is point X. And then using the straight edge, I'm gonna take point X and intersect it here, connect it with my point P. And now this creates a line that is perpendicular, so it creates a 90 degree angle, so that is perpendicular to the given line itself, um, and it goes through this point P that was on the line. So pause the video and give it a try.